This looks like a lot bigger of a project than I expected. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. Somehow we miscalculated. We really hope we don't mess this up, I'm gonna cry. This is a lot harder than it looks. Today. A lot. A lot. This room, this room, <laughs> this room has gone through so many transformations since we have moved in here in 2020. It's been just over two years that we've lived here. This room has transitioned from our homeschool room, aka like distance learning room, our school room, our storage room. There's been Every so room. much that we've done with this room. Now Mango's in here and it needs a good hopefully semi-permanent makeover now that things are more what's the word like normal like we're probably hopefully not going to be doing distance learning again the one pattern with this room is that it has pretty much always been used for something school related so we're going to call this our school room by school room i also mean things like extracurricular like I don't even know but we've got some ideas in here so I'm gonna give you a little before this is what we're working with right now okay it does the job mango is currently in here this is the area that needs attention so we've put these cabinets in a year or so ago this is where we put all of their school related and extracurricular related things school hasn't started yet so they don't even have their school backpacks here this area is pretty much a huge cluster. We keep the soccer, so like we've got the storage down here, which has, you know, it's, it keeps things organized. We've got their soccer uniforms, their soccer pants, and then their soccer socks, soccer shin guards. Between soccer and dance, those things are taking over our life, and then of course school. We typically hang the kids' school backpacks here, and then they have all their soccer stuff. Anyway, you can see the problem here, okay? We are finding a solution today. This room is just confused overall. It doesn't really know what it wants. I didn't really know what it wanted. We didn't really know what we wanted to do with it, and that is all ending today. Are you excited? Yeah. So first things first, I need to do a little bit of measuring in here, see what we're working with. We have some pretty cool ideas. Hopefully things come together the way that we're envisioning it. So if it's 12 feet across and we want about four compartments, that would make each compartment about three feet. So each section will be three feet. Standard height of bench seating is between 18 and 20 inches. So part of our project is that we're going to make seating here. It's kind of hard to explain. You'll have to see kind of as it comes together. We're hoping this works out, but I just Googled the standard size of like bench seating and it says between 18 and 20 inches, 34 inches. So let's account for like 35 inches of shiplap just to be safe. The area that we are putting shiplap is just over 12 feet which is so frustrating because everything comes in like 12 foot increments and it would just look silly for us to have like a whole inch on the side of it like it's not i don't know so instead of buying 12 foot shiplap we have to buy 16 foot shiplap if we want it to fully cover that wall <sighs> so many decisions so we're thinking that we're gonna do that chris thinks that they can actually cut the boards here it's a learning process for us guys leave all of your renovating tips down below but we're going to buy these 16 foot shiplap boards there's so much math involved in this you guys stay in school kids it's 145 inches and 1 8 across all the way down 54 and 3 quarters of an inch from the cabinets down to the floor and we're running our storage to be 20 inches high so we have to subtract 20 and then we have to figure out how much is left so i think that comes out to i'm just gonna round up to 55 so 55 minus 20 is 35 and then these are four inch boards so you're gonna divide it by four and it comes out to 8.75 which means that we need nine boards going all the way to fill that entire space. Once we get there, we can actually fine tune the exact like per eighth of an inch details. But for now, it doesn't really matter. We just need to make sure we have enough. This looks like a lot bigger of a project than I expected. On the way out, a guy, a guy was like, he's like, you have a really big project. Like, yeah, my wife went on Pinterest. And he said, good luck. <laughs> he said, good luck. 
I technically was on TikTok. Okay, that's what kind of started this in me, okay? Same. So the fire in my butt, but then I found all of my ideas on Pinterest. It's the same difference. Back there. So that was a lot. It's all fun and games until you're actually like getting the stuff for it and you're just like, oh my God, this is, how, how long were we there for? Two hours? At least two hours we were there for. Longer, actually. We were there for over two hours getting all this stuff, but it was a lot of things like trying to decide. Heads up, if you didn't know, Home Depot actually can cut your wood for you. Chris has a wood cutter thingy. Saw. Saw. <laughs> but these are huge pieces and they need to be really long, straight. So it's like, he could have done it, but it's literally right there. And then also the problem was the transporting it home. The shiplap piece is 16 feet, that's insane. So we cut them down to this exact size that we need. So heads up, if you didn't know, if you don't have a saw or whatever, it's an option for you if you need it. Mango, I'm sorry dude, but you gotta go. Sorry bro, I'm just lab. kidding. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're just moving him across over here for now. I don't really know what our long-term plan is for where he's gonna go, but we kind of like him down here with us where we can see. Anyway, we're gonna scooch, scooch him over and get started on this. <laughs> Somehow we miscalculated ever so slightly by like an inch. I'm not sure what, I, I do know what happened. At very last second, we were going between six inch boards and eight inch boards for these, like the height. And we ended up going with the six inch board. So I had to recalculate and the guy was waiting on us to cut it. And so I like did it really fast. I must've made a mistake. I'm off by one inch and that one inch throws off the entire project. We have to go get a whole nother board of these. We put all the paint away. This? Exactly like that. <laughs> Look, this is exactly what we're doing. Landon drew it out for us. I miscalculated the lines. <laughs> These are the panels, and then this is gonna be our bench. And then we're gonna have it open at the bottom. What do you mean with open at the bottom? So like the... Oh, I know what you meant. Oh, you guys are drawing out our plans for like, us. What do you mean like open at the bottom? Oh. And then we should have like shelves like this. Good idea. Chris and I are tripping right now because we, One. I'm so confused. But two. We have, okay. I don't know if I can even explain this, but as you guys know, we recently did like our, the mud room and we did the ship lab on the walls. I am a million percent sure that we bought the 12 feet shiplap pieces because we had extra pieces from the mudroom okay the problem was i think i talked about this earlier is that we need the 16 foot ones because we need one and an eighth of an inch more than 12 feet and it's working perfectly in there like the measurement is perfect well we just realized that we're one short and chris was gonna head to home depot right now i just looked up the hours turns out they're actually closed already and chris was like wait a minute i think i saw let me let's just measure this just in case like they look awfully long and i i'm tripping but these are actually exactly what we need I am so confused right now. I feel like there is someone looking out for us. Like I, I I'm so confused. Yeah, we did. I, mean, I mean, I guess we did, but just I don't, rem I don't recall. Maybe we did. Maybe we did the math because it was 16, and we could split it up and math something, and you overcalculated, and it saved us. Dang. Okay. Well, that was lucky. Okay, Chris is going to paint our extra ship lap piece, and I'm gonna get started staining the top of the bench seating. This is what we got. It's 47 inch by. 23 inch by 18 millimeter plywood. I think that's what the tag says. This is what we got for the top of the bench. I'm going to start staining it. I got um, the bare semi transparent stain and the color is Padre Brown. I hope I like this color. All they had was this little like tiny piece of wood to like show the color. I don't want it to be too dark. It looks pretty dark. So hopefully it turns out okay. <laughs> This is 
just one coat of the stain and I honestly don't know if I want to do another coat I'm afraid if I do another coat it's gonna to be too dark this is pretty much the exact look that I wanted to go for this with this green I think is gonna look really good so I don't know I think I'm gonna wait until the morning see how it looks and then decide from there remind me to never stain anything again though <sighs> it's hard all right guys so we have our little helper here helping me with a side project give me a thumbs up my little helper and then this morning, I finished up this last green piece right here. This is almost dry, ready to put in. And then as soon as this is put in, I'm gonna start with the big boards up front and we're gonna do all the white. what we're working with today guys finally we can see it in some actual daylight I like this better than I did with the ring light I feel like that was like I don't know it made everything look a little bit different so this is how do you like it so far so far so good all right so I stained these last night same thing I want to see them in the actual daylight because we are going to seal them with some what is it uh triple thick polyurethane how do you say that polyurethane <laughs> clear gloss yeah anyway because kids are gonna be sitting on this I like the greens in it I think it looks good this is going to be the top of the bench seating right here perfect timing too for Amazon this is actually a piece for this as well it's this is cross. It's prime, that's right. We ordered it yesterday, got here today. But this is, they should be anyway. Is it them? Is it them? What is that? Oh yeah, yeah, that's it. Is it it? Yep. Okay, can you show what it is? In order for the benches to be a soft close, which we want a soft close because otherwise, if kids are going in and out of it, like we don't want it to slam, we don't want it to break. We want it to be a soft close. It needs a hinge that is a soft close hinge. We had trouble finding them at uh, Home Depot, but luckily Amazon came in clutch and they delivered these the next day. So that's essentially what these do. It needs weight for it to, for the soft close to engage. Cool. Um, I finished all my chores. Finished all your chores? All my chores. Thank you. Before we put that glossy coat on, though, we need to cut the end of this because the bench is only going to come out 20 inches and right now it's 24. So we need to, yeah, we need to cut four inches. Addie picked out her hairstyle today and I'm kind of obsessed. Look at this. She picked out her bow, her clip. She wanted it in a low bun. You're ready, girl, huh? I drowned a thousand miles if I could run with you. And from what I have heard, you do the same thing too. I wanna say forever. We could be good together. Guess misery. They will once. Yeah. Look at the back. What? There's a significant difference. It's very off from this. Yeah. Do you see it? This is a lot harder than it looks. Whose idea was this? Yours. <laughs> All yours. Can we just shave it a little bit, or just so it blends, or is that gonna be problematic for the top? So we either need to cut a whole new piece or we need to put filler in somewhere. Update, it is 9. 19 p.m. and we're still out here cutting things. It's just everything down to an eighth of an inch matters. We're like, we're really feeling it. Like we've had a couple oopsies. <sighs> so we're just trying to make sure everything is perfect. That way it can function properly. It can do everything that it's meant to do. We're not trying to half-ass it. We want it to be perfect. Your favorite movie Can't believe you did that to me You're saying I'll repeat on my radio You're saying I'll repeat on my radio I need to get out You're all I think about My head in the clouds All right, we have the whole shell of the storage piece built now. Now it's kind of just the functionality and then the design of the front of it. So right now we've come across a few problems. Um, there's a tiny, the tiniest little gap in between these and it's like they're cut perfectly, but no matter what we did, there's just the smallest gap here. But we have a solution and I was actually doing this anyway. These little pieces are gonna serve as like a 
like this kind of, like this kind of look to the front of it. So I'm gonna glue these, I think we, we have wood glue, wood Gorilla Glue, if it works. I'm actually gonna glue these pieces onto the front of it and see if that solves our seam issues. Hopefully it works, Chris thinks it's not gonna work. It's definitely gonna work. We are on day three of this project and we're back at Home Depot picking out more boards. We had an oopsie moment. Chris had an oopsie moment. What? He accidentally painted our boards that were supposed to be stained white. So we need to get more of those boards. Luckily they're just like little tiny things. So we're trying to figure out if we want a lot of grain in them or like no grain in them because every single piece looks so different and we need three of them. I think we're gonna go with the ones without grain in them because it needs to match up right next to the ones that we already have stained and we're try we don't want them to stand out too much. Oh. This is so complicated. Okay, we also needed to pick up more wood glue. I didn't actually end up gluing anything last night. Chris thinks this glue is gonna work better, so Wait, I'm gonna do that. The reason why I wanna get that is because it'll set in, in like 30 seconds. And then we needed some more paint brushes, the nylon kind for the stain, and then a clear coat of polyurethane, so it's called, inside. for the inside. And then we're gonna get right back into work. Well, right back a, to work. We need a table. Before we finish the top of this, we are, we're putting dividers into this, it's gonna be like, kind of like a chest, like we're gonna put stuff inside of it. So we have these separators in the middle, it's just wood that we cut and then trying to figure out where we should put them. There's gonna be three lids, like three ways to open, three different things to open. So in each one, we're going to have one on the side and then one in the middle. So Chris is stapling these in with his staple gun. Nails, staple nails, nailing? I don't know. I don't know the lingo. I just do the designing part. <laughs> Our next set of issues is, again, coming down to the one eighth of an inch. We honestly just want this to be perfect, and let me just show you guys what's going on. It's ever so slightly, and only we would ever notice, but we are stapling this piece back into, um, this is like the back of the boards that are gonna open, these are the ones that are gonna open, and when you push these boards all the way back, you can see in the front right here, there's an ever so slight difference right here and when we put these lips on in the front they're just all gonna be off a tiny bit and I don't want the I really I really don't want that so what we're doing now is we're going to cut an eighth of an inch along the backs that way these should in theory line up perfectly we have a, only a tiny bit of wiggle room here if we screw up this could screw up our entire project no pressure you're the cutter here. So we wanna to go to? 15 and 7 eighths. I really hope we don't mess this up, I'm gonna cry. We're just so close and it's starting to really come together and I will just be so sad. This messes it up. Why is the front not showing up? Moment of truth. I feel like that didn't cut off as much as it. Shut up. What's the verdict? Oh, yes. Okay, that was a good idea. Yes. No, really oh, this is nice. Enough. Yay. All right, cool. Mission accomplished. Moving on. Update again. Another day gone, and Chris spent hours yesterday trying to figure out what the heck we're going to do about this. So, um, first things first, we bought these. Turns out they're actually not what we thought that they were. Um, they are not hinges and he tried thing after thing after thing after thing to try to figure out how we're gonna get this thing to open and close. He got to a point last night where he was just like, that's not gonna work. Nope, we're just not gonna have it. Let's just tear it all out. We're gonna be done. Not exactly, but he ended up finding a solution at Lowe's instead of Home Depot. And is there like a name for it for future reference for anyone who's trying to like yeah. build this? What is it? The piece that we were using was not what we needed and we found what we needed and that is Non-Mortise hinge. Non-Mortise, a non-Mortise hinge. So we're still using these because these, uh, what we ordered off of Amazon, turns out those are just for a soft close. They don't actually, like, they you don't know. stabilize anything. Yes, yeah, stabilize anything. They're only to make things close softly. So we still need them, or we're still going to use them anyway. But these little dudes are the things that we really needed. And <laughs> it's taken a lot of work to get to this point, but at least they're functional. But we got the front of this on. I'm obsessed with the front of it. I really like it. I think eventually I'm gonna stain underneath here too. It's just not a top priority right now. We just wanna get everything functional. So the only thing left after you do this, babe, I think is the front of this and, I, and then the hooks. And I think we're pretty much done. We learned a lot through this journey. Go 
on towards working on this project, but I am freaking out, you guys. The outside of it is almost done. All we need to do is hang these hooks, and I am... All the hard work I think is worth it. I'm gonna go through and do some touch-up right now of the stain I did some of the touch-up of the paint last night, but look at the front of these you guys <gasps> It's better than I could have imagined right now I'm gonna take this stain and I think I'm gonna stain the inside of the top of this just so it looks a little bit more like professionally done I also do have the polyurethane that I might go through and cover in here just because it's it's you know It's unfinished wood and I don't think you know you can get any splinters from it But it would just make things a little bit more smoother I kind of want to go in here also and take some wood. Um, what's the word? filler I guess to fill these like little impurities take a real close look now uh -uh. As soon you realize. Chris thinks we should stain all of the inside I think that's a lot of work <laughs> so I don't know if we'll do that <laughs> maybe one day take a real close look now I'm going to show you how we're on to our next project I'm not gonna lie it's been a few days I have been really contemplating what the heck I'm gonna do with the rest of this room because the main piece that we constructed, that Chris constructed, and he did such a good job, is done. So now we just have the rest of the room and the toughest spot for me was trying to figure out what we're gonna do with Mango. We like where he's at, we like we move him to the other side, but his cage is just kinda ugly, not gonna lie. And I love my Mango, he's staying. So instead of moving him or putting him somewhere just, else. You don't wanna like raise strawberries or watermelons instead? No, I wanna raise reptile. I want a snake. And no, instead of I a mango. really wanna snake, no, both, both. I love reptiles, anyway. Um, we decided, I decided that we, by we I mean Chris, so I decided that Chris is going to make him a completely custom cage. I'm pretty expensive. <laughs> I don't know if you can afford me at this point. Oh, I, I'll make sure that you're paid off. So we're getting really... Where's your snake? We're... <laughs> uh, you're coming home with me. No, I want a real one. Anywho, we are getting really freaking creative. I have spent days, and I mean it when I say days, on Pinterest and on YouTube trying to figure out how in the heck we're going to do this, and I think we finally have an idea of what we're gonna do. So we came to Ikea, you can't tell, and we just picked up an entertainment center. <laughs> <laughs> gonna be really confusing not for, <laughs> not for the TV custom cages are really pricey it's gonna be kind of hard to explain what we're doing with us I'm just gonna have to show you when we get home all right so bear with me here but as you guys saw we went to Ikea we picked up this dresser well TV unit um, entertainment center type ordeal and Chris built it last night so now we're on to the next step it's kind of hard to see what we're working with here but this is what it looked like and this is what it looks like now so as you can see Chris actually shaved off the entire top part of this unit and use your imagination stay with me here we went to the hardware store we grabbed some acrylic sheets so this is basically like plexiglass we got the 24 by 36 inch and it's 0.177 inches um, wide so it's 4.5 millimeters wide these are pretty thick pieces and we had them cut down down. They cut them there into the sizes that we wanted. The question is what size did we want? Okay, we had no idea We still are hoping that we made the right choice So we don't want this to be too tall as you can see like this is what mango's cage looks like now We are doing this like with no guidance here. We're totally winging it and I decided that just based off of like Nothing based off of nothing, but I wanted it to be roughly 24 inches tall So that's gonna bring this to about here So what I'm thinking is this is essentially going to be not only an amazing custom terrarium for mango But it's also gonna serve as like a, an an accent piece uh, like this accent table if you will we can put things on it we can decorate on top of it so I didn't want it to be too tall I feel like the height is a little bit weird but we had to make sure that it was sufficient for what we needed so each piece of acrylic is about 24 inches tall which is significantly taller than what he's got not significantly but it's taller than what he's got now right now he has a standard 18 inch terrarium this is going to be taller and wider than what he's got already so this is going to come up to about here it's gonna be glass all around I'm hoping that it gives this really cool look but we have to build it so what we're gonna 
gonna do is, we bought some wood to go along the back here. I wanted the sides to be open. I wanted it to be this big open cage. Hi, dude, you're getting a room upgrade, you know. Yes, you are. <laughs> we got tile to put at the bottom here for him so he's not gonna have this dirt anymore. He's gonna actually have a tile bottom. We're gonna get some really cool things to decorate inside of here. I don't really know how we're gonna do that yet, but we will definitely pull that together. We got some one by two inch pieces of wood that will be like the framing for this to go on the side. We got some nifty little things to make this slide open and shut. It's gonna be the whole shebang. But this is the part where Chris takes over because this is all him. I do the designing, he actually executes it. So I'm gonna have him walk you through how he does this and hopefully nothing goes wrong. All right guys, so I have the top of it already all sanded down, prepped, ready to go. This is going to be the base that I'm gonna build off of. So I have my measurements and I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple cuts and get this sized up, ready to attach. I've sanded it a little bit just to kind of smooth out some of the edges. And I have my two pieces of acrylic that I'm gonna go ahead and tape together. These are gonna be on the sides right here. These are gonna be on the sides on either side. And I'm gonna go ahead and drill holes, kind of like breather holes. Mango's old cage has a mesh at the top. This one's not gonna have a mesh because it's gonna be completely enclosed. So in order to get some airflow and to just kind of ventilate some of that heat, I'm gonna go ahead and drill holes into the side panels and just help distribute heat that way. This is an old desk, I was gonna get rid of it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use it. When I do drill the holes through the acrylic for the ventilation, I don't really care if it goes through the table a little bit. And right now I'm just kind of marking my center point here so that when I make the holes, it does look somewhat symmetrical and not just kind of thrown together. <laughs> small hiccup and as you can see the acrylic cracked just a little bit here right here chipped a little bit right here it's not entirely bad but as far as looking pretty it does kind of suck my next step right here is the base that I installed the plywood that I installed was actually a little bit too long because I did not account for the trim that we're gonna frame out around the side here so I marked it out and I'm gonna go ahead and trim all this off on the front right here so that I can mount this trim on the front. How do we do this? We need a level too. This is so hard. Chris and I have spent the last probably three hours. Well, three days. Well, you know, yeah, but three hours going back and forth on how this how this is gonna work. And I can't even I, I can't even tell you how it's gonna work. Like we are just every we have to look at every inch of this. Like we just, I don't even know how to explain it, but somehow we think we've got it figured out. And I just, I wish I could just give you like an answer, like A plus B equals C, but really it comes down to like quarters of an inch everywhere because we want this glass to be flat here. And then the guy at the Home Depot cut this a little bit too long. This is sixteenths of an inch. We've ha basically had to build this in our mind up and then take it step by step backwards to figure out, it's just so, it's, it's hard guys, that's all I'm gonna say. So Chris drilled some holes into this plexiglass. We had a couple little oopsies, but I think we're just gonna roll with it. And I'm just gonna put this like in the far back corner of this thing. And now we're trying to figure out how we're going to attach the glass to the back, to the everything. And we need to measure down this down to the exact like 16th of an inch to make sure this fits like a glove. Like. I tried to look for something called dry lock extreme. I couldn't find it. They said that they were running low on it. I guess it's hard to find right now. So I got this instead. And what this is gonna do is, it's what it's supposed to do, is seal everything here and make it like waterproof. I don't really know why I'm doing this. I just watched a few other videos of people like who did this to their bearded dragons cages and they all did it. So I feel like it's something important. So I'm just going to coat everywhere that's gonna be inside with this stuff. Told. I don't mind even 
What do you think so far? He's such a spoiled little loser. Look at him just sleeping his life away. He has no idea the room upgrades he's getting. We have done a lot over the past few hours. We've got it almost completely done. I actually can't believe that I think we're gonna pull this off now. Like there's been so much that has come to this point. We're just sealing it now and the bottoms I already put like the sealant on the inside here. That's supposed to like make this waterproof. And now Wait, make sure you get water in there? choke of that in between those spaces. Dude, green is your color. You look really good in green. And then last but not least, we're gonna decorate it. Nope, it's like a rock. We've decided to make the top of this open like a chest, like these, just for extra accessibility. If we ever need to clean his tank or, you know, whatever needs to happen, it is gonna open up here on the front, but it just kind of makes sense and it's really easy to do. So we're gonna do this as well. And we are like basically carpenters at this point. We are now selling these for $6,000 a piece. <laughs> How much time this has taken? This thing is so legit, dude. This has exceeded my expectations, I think. I think we did it. I think, look at. <laughs> we're done, but we're not done. Are you ready to finish this? I know it seems really fast in one vlog, but this actually took a solid two weeks to finish you guys. And I just put it all in one video, but I am so proud to present to you our official school room, I don't know what else to call it, remodel, makeover, renovation, 2.0, finished product. Oh my God. All right, let me show you guys. goodness you guys like I when I say I had a vision this exceeded my expectations so as you can see here this is where we're going to hang all of the kids stuff you might think this is a lot of hooks let me tell you this is barely going to be enough each kid has extracurricular backpacks like these are their soccer backpacks they're gonna have their school backpacks they've got their dance stuff this is going to be the most useful space for us I am obsessed Mango, this is the cage for Mango. Again, absolutely obsessed. He's not in here yet. We need to finish hooking up like his lighting and make sure that the environment is perfect for him. I also wanna make sure everything in there is like cured and all of that jazz before we do it. I also am going to be doing like a re-theme of this. This is pretty, but I wanna make it more, um, I have actually a really cool idea that I'm gonna do with this, what so. What idea is it? <laughs> no. So to be continued with this one, he's not quite in there yet right now. We have him just hanging out over there in the corner in his setup. But we started installing like his heat lamp and all that stuff. I'm waiting on a few things that ordered off Amazon. This mirror is from Ikea, absolutely obsessed. This is custom made by my husband, as you guys saw. <laughs> Never again, I think. This was extremely difficult, but it looks better than I could have ever imagined. It's exactly what I envisioned. Everything over here is pretty much the same. I did switch out these chairs. These are the chairs that I got for the dining room. The color is perfect for in there, but they're not exactly what I wanted, like the material and the height of them. They're, they were basically made for in here. And so I swapped out our old chairs that we had, put those ones in there, cleaned up this space a little bit. And then of course in here we have tons and tons and tons of useful storage with this soft clothes top. This color is just everything I could have ever wanted. I am so proud of it. We're done with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a long one for us. I absolutely love doing these like room makeovers. You guys know it's like kind of become a thing for me. Next up, is now we can start on our bedroom, Chris. 
He loves me. I will try to link everything that I can't actually, what am I even gonna link? Like, everything is custom made except like the mirror and like a few plants. So I don't know, I'll try. If you guys have any requests of things that you want me to link, let me know down in the comments below or DM me on Instagram. I always share my Instagram stories and I'll try to find a few of the links that I do know of and put them down in the description box below. So that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Next is my room. <laughs> Bye.